There are three key fundamental factors that breeders look for when assessing stallion potential. Performance, pedigree and physique. Exceptional Myla Mohatha is blessed with all three. Trained by Marcus Dragoni, he showed class and consistency as a group winner at two, three and four. Mahatha ran out an easy winner of Newbury's Group 3 Horace Hill Stakes at the conclusion of his juvenile campaign, before returning to the Berkshire venue for his seasonal reappearance at 3 in the Group 3 Greenham Stakes. Having travelled with Zest, he gave us a glimpse of his spine-tingling acceleration when beating a competitive field that included top-notch sprinter Hello Yumze. However, it was at four that he excelled himself, displaying a devastating turn of foot to win a strong renewal of the Group 2 Summer Mile at Ascot. Mohatha's next appointment came in the Group 1 Sussex Stakes at Glorious Goodwood, where he faced multiple Group 1 winner Circus Maximus, as well as 2,000 Guineas winners Cameco and Siskin, both of whom were in receipt of a hefty eight pounds. With two furlongs to run, Jim Crowley found himself with nowhere to go on Mahatha, taking the decision to hit the brakes, pull him wide, and circle all but one of the field. It was a bold move, but the afterburners kicked in, and he went on to win a shade cosily by three parts of a length in a time three seconds faster than Kingman posted in 2014. He showed an exceptional turn of foot that day, almost like sort of Kingman winning the same race. Uh, for me, I, I was incredibly impressed with the way he quickened. I think Bruff Scott said it was the he hadn't seen acceleration like that since Dancing Brave in the Ark 30 plus years ago. So that shows how rare that was. I've never ridden a horse with such a turn of foot like it. I remember saying to Marcus in the spring, I said, you know, this horse is, is obviously very special, but. He had the speed, I felt, to have even won a Group 1 over six furlongs. Mahatha was, was the most outstanding mile of his generation. He had electric turn of foot, and you see in a couple of his races, he had to produce that spurt of speed twice when there was a little bit of trouble in running, particularly in the Sussex Stakes. And I think if he got the run where he was trying to go, I mean, he'd have won it so much easier. Not that it matters, because he won it well anyway. Putting round horses like he did, losing three and a half lengths, and then still beating them easily, I mean, it's a very unusual thing. I think, for me, Mahatha's greatest instrument was his turn of foot. He had an exceptional turn of foot. You could put him anywhere in the race. His versatility, but that's what will stick in my mind, is, is the sheer acceleration he showed to win the Sussex Stakes against top-class horses. Mahatha retired with a rating of 123, making him the highest rated son of top class sire showcasing who goes from strength to strength. He was on the mark again in 2020 with exciting Mill Reef Stakes winner Al Humate. Bought as a yearling for 110,000 guineas, Mahatha is from a hugely prolific family. He was bred by Gay Johnson Horton out of her dual winning mare Rudai, who was also stakes placed at two. The daughter of Inchinore has excelled at stud, producing eight winners, including Mahatha's full sister and grade two scorer prize exhibit, whose Galileo yearling sold for 2.8 million guineas at book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sale in 2020, as well as the dam of Queen Anne Stakes hero, Accidental Agent. The page is also awash with high-class two-year-old talent, headed by a stair, Bannister and Dead Certain, as well as the pre-morning runner-up Gallagher. Breeders will also be delighted to learn Mahatha has the physical prowess to match his racecourse exploits and pedigree. Standing at 16 hands, he's a beautifully balanced, well-proportioned individual with a fantastic action. He is very typical of his sire showcasing, with strong quarters and a good top line, as well as being blessed with a great head and a kind eye. If you look at him confirmationally, he's very correct and he's got a lovely shoulder, wonderful top line. I've said before, when you stand behind him, it's 
you know, at his, at his best, he's looking, it's like looking at two oranges put together. He's got that power and length to his quarters that gives him that thrust. And a wonderful head carriage. You watch him in his races, he carries his head in exactly the right place, you know, and, and moving beautifully. He had a wonderful action. One of the most exciting horses we've ever trained for certain. So there you have it. Performance, pedigree, and physique. Mo Hartha, standing at Shadwell.